Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. This is going to be a jail cave walkthrough. Uh, now to get here, um, my favourite route is heading west from Aeonia Swamp Shore. Uh, you'll see kind of, there'll be a few enemies that you'll have to kind of run by, but you'll see that there is the big um, plant in the middle of the swamp, which kind of allows you to see into here. Probably the most noticeable thing will be the, the fog. Um, that is here before you open it. This requires two stone sword keys to open. Just bear that in mind. Can be a little expensive. You do get one back in here though. Um, so all in all it will cost you one. Provided you loot everything in the cave. Obviously going to be a good idea to have the lantern on. It should be pretty light once we actually start getting into the cave. But it's just nice to have it on anyway. Rest at the grace before we go in. And pick up our rune arc. And then we can start heading through. Uh, the beginning part of this is mostly straightforward, so we are just going to kill the rat and the rune. Continue to the next room for a fairly similar kind of encounter. There's nothing on the right here, it's just kind of a decorative little space. Click on Mr. Rat Boy, turn right. I'm going to fall through the floor. Come here, where's my cave in? There it is. Okay. Now they look like we're getting somewhere. Uh, when you see these, uh, they look like they're kind of close to the gates. Use any weapon, uh, a pokey weapon like a rapier, um, or as you can see, like a big jumping attack. If you're a mage, something like a Moonblade, moon blade. Um, anything like this, just to clip through, it's just going to make your life a little bit easier later on. Um, just get as many of them as you can. Uh, we should have a guy that wants to follow us. Come here, sir. Yeah, that's actually where we need to get to. That's where the switch is that opens everything. Anyone going to follow me? Not yet. Down here, um, on the right, we'll have... Boyo. Where's the other one? There should be a second. There you are. Oh, you're running away. Interesting. It was really, like, slow run as well. They slowed you down? Don't remember them being that slow. Continue on through the dungeon. Again, just keep an eye out where you can like, reach any. This room is the particularly uh, annoying, egregious one, so any that you kill out of there is going to be going to be real handy. Just keep on moving around. I think there's one in here. Oh, there's two, actually. <laughs> Your smoke, it made no difference to me. Uh, yeah, let's get a jump on you. Just thin some of these numbers out. Um, they're not like mega bad, but they just like to blow up, and that can be kind of annoying. Uh, so now heading back up, this is actually going towards the switch now. Um, on the left, as we walk into the room, there'll be a... Uh, oh, this one. This one's a giant rat, but I'm thinking the main room with the switch in. We'll have one of the, the little guys to our left that wants to try and ambush us, so we just need to be aware of that when we go in. Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh. I don't know how, how you have so much stagger. I've got like... Well, I should have pretty good poise on right now. Apparently, you do not care. Break these bars just because I don't remember doing it before. Sometimes they hide stuff behind them. Give up the poison. That was a pretty silly mistake there. Here we are. Third one. Hello. Oh, excuse me. What are you doing? Got the loot. Then we can open everything up from the top. Um, it's kind of strange that from this end, um, we can now go ahead and open the door below, but we don't really have much other business to come this way for. So unless you maybe want to use this as some kind of like PvP arena, don't really know why why you need that opening up like that. Uh, so straight across this uh, way that we are right now, you don't really need to come up here. This is uh, basically the way back out if you want to walk out. Don't know why you would. Maybe you've taken, taken too much damage. Shouldn't have. Should be all good. Excuse me, sir. Can you, can you not? Put you down, and this one down. I think this one should be the pillory shield. Yes. Then we can go left, we've got a little bit of loot that way. Beans are trying to 100% this, we probably should collect things like rude items and... Well, if I forget this one, somebody will definitely never let me forget it. <laughs> So, Golden Rune 2. And then now we can continue back um, the direction that we went before. That was just me 
Losing my uh, sense of direction there. Don't mind me. So now down here we can turn right. In here we'll have another rune item. Again, not exactly groundbreaking stuff, but we'll take it. Didn't even down then. Uh, we'll have the room with tons of them in. This is the bad one. I could say, because they're just going to blow up all over the place. Uh, it can be difficult to avoid them all if there's loads. Excuse me. Oh no, it's going to get me. It's not like the most damage in the world, but still don't want to take it. No items in there either. Um, the main, I guess the main, the main different difficulty, difficult main risk is if you come in here and they and they trap you in. There's your stone cut sword key back. We should get the wakizashi in here as well, I think. Yeah, here we go. That's that. Uh, so there's the wakizashi shield key, and we've got the sombering stone as well. So that's all of the major loot. It is just now the ashes from the boss. Just keep dealing with these. Ultimate mushroom, it should be... Yeah, because that's way back to the switch. It should be this way. Hidden in a little corner, no less. Um, and it has like a kind of a... Um, easy to fall down, drop down. So just just bear with us while we go through that. Sorry, I can just hear something moving around around me. And I don't know what it is. Um... So just be just be careful like when you when you look here. Don't don't run out, walk out. Otherwise you'll miss that, and that's uh, well, certain death. It has to be said. So this next drop down is the boss room, so if you wanna physic up, that's gonna be plus ten strength and dexterity for my quality build here. Get straight in on the on the loot all. Still it's probably gonna be like no match for this character at this point, but gotta do it, right? Got no FP, ha ha ha. But my damage is still amazing. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I was gonna see if we get charged R2 off. Like that, yeah. No match for me, sir. Putrid Corpse Touches. Never tried it. Uh, probably don't have much interest in it, even if it's good. Um. Yeah, we just pass through into Limgrave. Don't forget to get your extra bit of loot here, regalia of the EO Cade. I think that's actually one of the special weapons required for the platinum. So yeah, definitely make sure make sure you don't forget that. Glowstone. And there we are. Now we can take the exit, whichever way you prefer. You can fast travel out, or you can use this. Hopefully that helps you guys out, and I'll see you all in the next video.